every time I think about Jesus, something begins to happen on the inside. Every time I talk about Jesus, because I'm sealed with the Holy Ghost. Y'all don't make me happy in here. Amen. When I think of the goodness of God and all that he's done for me, something on the inside begins to cry out, hallelujah, do I have any people in here right now that can testify, amen, that I'm excited about my future because my future looks brighter than my yesterday because Jesus is my excitement. see them now panic and puzzling and running around trying to figure out how are we going to get some oil. But to their surprise, their lamps and their torches had went out. And they thought that since there's ten of us, guess what? I may not have any oil, but I asked them, amen, can you let me borrow some? Amen. I promise you that I won't use it all. I'll give most of it back. Amen. But the five wise ones is like, look, y'all got to go out into the marketplace. Y'all got to go get your own. Amen. And this is my third and final point that I want to make this morning. Watch this. The first one was they had no future expectation. The second one was they had no excitement, but the third point I want to make is, is that they invested in today and not in tomorrow. <laughs> Amen. And it's all right, watch this, to have nice investments. It's all right to have nice material things. It's all right to have nice cars. Amen. And nice homes. But the best investment that I will ever make is preparing myself for tomorrow. And I heard someone say, watch this, Walter, that I don't know what tomorrow holds. But I do know who holds tomorrow. Does anybody know who holds tomorrow? He's the living of the valley. He is the bright and the morn that star. He is a way out of nowhere. 